The Cold War conflict between these two countries has lasted more than half a century. Here's a look back at some of the images that captured the historic moments in the relationship between the United States and Cuba. July 26, 1959, Havana, Cuba. Fidel Castro became the leader of Cuba after leading an armed revolt to overthrow Cuban dictator Fulgencio Batista. Fidel Castro's supporters fill Havana Public Square as Castro gives a speech about the one-year anniversary of the revolution. One million machete-wielding peasants jam the square before Cuba's national capital in response to the call of Fidel Castro for a celebration of the sixth anniversary of his 26th of July revolutionary movement. It is perhaps the greatest mass rally ever staged in the Western Hemisphere. In 1961, undeterred by the failure to overthrow Castro in the Bay of Pigs, the Kennedy administration implements Operation Mongoose to destabilize the Cuban government and economy. Fearing an invasion from Americans, Castro allowed the Soviet Union to place missiles on Cuban soil. 1996. After two U.S. civilian planes are shot down by Cuban Air Force jets, Congress further tightens the Cuban trade embargo. 1980. After the Cuban government opens its coast for anyone to leave with a permit, nearly 125,000 Cubans flee to the United States. The U.S. Coast Guard refers to the influx of Cuban immigrants as the 1980 Cuban Exodus. 1998. An executive order from the Clinton administration allows sales of some food and agricultural products to Cuba. January 2002. The first Afghan prisoners arrive at the U.S. Guantanamo Bay Naval Station in Cuba. In 2006... Congressional advocates of easing restrictions to Cuba fly to Havana to meet with Raul Castro. The group was denied a meeting with Cuba's acting president, Raul Castro. 2008, Raul Castro officially becomes president of Cuba. The growing relationship between President Obama captured at several events, including the memorial service of Nelson Mandela. April 2009, President Obama eases travel restrictions to Cuba. I have to say Chag Sameach and uh, happy holiday season to all of you. Today is the first day of Hanukkah, and uh, I guess so far it's the best Hanukkah that I'll be celebrating for a long time. Uh, what a blessing it is to be a citizen of this country. In December 2009, Alan Gross, a U.S. citizen, is detained in Cuba and accused of spying. December 17, 2014, Alan Gross returns home. President Obama announces that the U.S. will normalize relations with Cuba.